Foster Air Conditioning's Royal Report is brought to you by Foster Air Conditioning. It's more than a coincidence that Brandon McGee and his NHL role model are exactly the same height. Well, I uh, looked at Martin St. Louis as a role model for me. He's a smaller guy who's, who's a fast player and uh, he does a lot of the grunt work on his line, so that's kind of what I have to do here, I think. Listed at 5'8 and 172 pounds, McGee knows there's more than one way to play big. Royals fans found that out in the team's very first home game. You know, I was just getting in on the floor check and the guy didn't exactly see me coming. I was able to catch him, catch him good and uh, learn the crowd roar pretty loud and uh, it was a pretty exciting time. McGee has also been known to chuck knuckles against a much larger opponent, like Spokane Chiefs forward Colin Valcourt. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, uh, if you're big or small, you know, you can't be scared out there on the ice. You know, uh, Austin Carroll actually got hit by Valcourt there and uh, I felt like you know, I was supposed to scare around and I had to step in and defend my teammates. McGee's toughness may be due in part to an unseen opponent that he's fought since his earliest days on skates in his hometown of Edmonton. I was diagnosed with uh, type 1 diabetes uh, two weeks before my fifth birthday. I was in the hospital. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it hasn't really hindered me too much uh, throughout my life. Uh, staying active really helps playing hockey. Uh, I've been ins insulin dependent now and uh, you know, I just kind of monitor it during games and practices. Just make sure you have juice boxes on the bench so you don't run low and stuff like that. Uh, you know, a lot of it's just kind of by feel. Uh, I do poke four to five times a day to check my blood sugar, see where the readings are at. Uh, but during a game, it's mostly just my feeling on my, of my body and kind of just once you have it, have it for so long, you kind of recognize when your blood sugar is going low or when it's high and you just monitor kind of like that. We do have to make sure that maybe if he, on the road and stuff like that, he does have adequate sugar in his diet. Sometimes we'll do a room check and walk in, then he'll be sitting down watching a movie with his, uh, with his insulin out ready to go. So it's actually quite impressive how well he handles it on his own. Now in a position to be a role model himself, McGee is discovering that he doesn't have to be on the ice to feel 10 feet tall. Last game, uh, I had a young kid come up to me and he was uh, diagnosed with diabetes last year. and. Uh, I was able to just, you know, I talked to him for a bit, signed some autographs for him, and, you know, it, I he, he started crying, and, uh, you know, it was really, it really touched me just being, being able to know that younger kids are looking up to me in this community. Foster Air Conditioning's Royal Report is brought to you by Foster Air Conditioning. 